theme song would be Oh, what a beautiful morning. It's this very old fashioned <laughs> song, but I love it. I love that. So much is, you know, just about attitude. And I can have really long days, and then the next morning I don't necessarily feel like walking up, waking up, but it's like, mm -hmm. that's always, you know, such a. Oh, what a beautiful morning. I'm a coffee person in the morning. I love coffee. I mean, just the smell of it. And it's funny, I don't want to have it with food. I just want sort of silence, coffee, and just that's my sort of moment to just, you know, tune in to the day and, you know, I love it. I love coffee. I love tea in the evening, though. Mm -hmm. I love tea, you know, by the fire before we go to bed. I actually go to the east side. I go to Seven Stars. Okay. I hope yeah. It's my go-to. My favorite restaurant for casual is Rasoi. It's an Indian restaurant, and it's this very small place, but it's mm -hmm. just wonderful. They have a fantastic tali, yeah. which is like a very typical Indian meal that has a lot of different flavors, and you can taste, you know, five different dishes on one plate. We uh, we go to Persimmons a lot in Bristol. Really? Persimmons we love. We love El Forno for the pizza. I mean, Fluke is another great restaurant. In um, it's like upscale bistro, mm -hmm. but just with really unusual flavors. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a lot of locally grown and harvested food. So I would say traveling. Traveling is one of my main sort of rejuvenation, allowing myself to just sort of have a fresh perspective. And it opens up my eyes, and I love just seeing new cultures and new people and trying new food. I think that's one of my main. And also just being in nature, to just sort of take a break and just mm -hmm. see, like, wow. Well, how, how am I going to look at this person? How can I sort of tune into them? And I think traveling, you do that automatically. Mm -hmm. You're vulnerable, you meet so many people, and it's, I love that, you know, connecting with people. And that's what happens when I shoot somebody also. I'm really like getting to know them and connecting mm -hmm. with them, and it is a little bit like this adventure. So my style, I mean, my background was always in fashion, mm -hmm. and I started shooting events. So I would say it's, it's this combination of fashion and editorial. Mm -hmm. And I also like to also tune into people, so I'll really like, when I photographed you, really sort of moving you and directing you and having mm -hmm. you look and sort of seeing, well, what is your most beautiful angle and mm -hmm. how can I capture your essence in the photo? Mm -hmm. So that's also really, I mean, I love emotion and I love, uh, I love something that's also vulnerable. I love seeing this vulnerability in photographs. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would say I'm, I'm super organized. Mm -hmm. I mean, to that's probably the most organized I am within my world. Mm -hmm. Just wanting to know like all the details beforehand. Where's the best space? Mm -hmm. Where who's the best makeup person? How can we put all of these elements together to make it really exactly what the client wants? It gives me that structure that I can jump off from. Mm -hmm. I started when I was eight. All I wanted for Christmas was a camera, a nice camera, mm -hmm. and my parents offered me a camera and. From that day, I just started wow. taking photos. My father said, why don't you go get a master's in photography? So mm -hmm. went back to school for that wow. and just loved it. And it was just, it just felt like effortless. Everything I was seeing, I was always framing and yeah. always sort of, you know, seeing in my mind, like, oh, wow, how would that be the most beautiful? And, right. you know, it just was in second nature. Yeah. I, we do a lot of traveling. I mean, we're traveling far away and also close by to New York, mm -hmm. to California to just relax and to just breathe and to smile, you know, it's the, everyone has a beauty to them, everyone, no matter, you know, what, everyone has a beauty. And so it's really tuning in and finding that beauty and pulling it out and letting someone feel relaxed. And that's my job, that's when someone is relaxed, they look beautiful. Right. And then they just get this idea, oh, I'm not photogenic, right. but I think everyone, it depends on how you photograph them. I think everyone can be beautiful. Everyone is beautiful.